Where are you at, monster? You're apparently in this area somewhere. Okay. We'll save. <laughs> Unless it is the dragon and there's something else I have to do. To I think that Amri Devane just appeared. Mm. It's a fennec fox! Ah! You're getting Amri Devane all over the place. I know, there's also like a trail of lights you can follow out here. And there's like stuff. Is it... Oh! Spider! Spider! Is it a giant spider? Because, uh, I don't know how I feel about that. I would rather fight anything other than a giant spider. I will fight a dragon any day. Are you poison? I probably should go get some more... Dang they have plants. Yeah, okay, spiders, but what about the legendary monster? <laughs> I think Trespasser is pretty cool. Yeah, Trespasser is cool. Trespasser is basically essential, but. And you get access to the tier 4 stuff once you get Trespasser. What is that? Oh, that's the, like, centrals area. Wow. I have to go to the Oasis? Oh, wait. Is chat? I kind of wonder, like, if chat... Sometimes it seems like it's a little slow. I don't know. No, uh there's a mod... Are you messing with me? There's a mod that turns the spiders into birds? Oh, uh, that's awesome. It, oh my gosh, that's cool. I have to go to the oasis. I can't remember. Which... There's a camp that's... Oh, I haven't been in this area. <laughs> what was that? Camp are you? Canyon camp. Is the oasis? I thought it was like over here. That's the rock, the statue camp. I think I I did go to the oasis at one point. Oh. I haven't done that yet. Oh. Really? That's the main one. Oh. All right, well, let's go there really quick. The spoils of the Kunari. Mm hmm Mm-hmm. I think that armor is... Uh, I love the Avar one, too. Like, when I when I play with my... What am I doing? Um, when I play... My cannon run through with my first inquisitor, Irka. We're basically gonna be wearing the I Avar must admit, armor I've never all the heard time. Of these seekers of truth. Why would you? They do not exist in Tevinta. What are they? Some manner of super templar? Is this super one of templar. those sudden secrets like proper hygiene? <laughs> Once we worked from the shadows, monitoring templars and mages alike. Ah, that clearly worked out well. Your glibness does you no credit. The mage rebellion was beyond even our power to control. Yeah. I do remember that one. I think I remember later he says, or she says something like, you know, we should have been, we should have been more on top of things. And he's like, no, I understand. Like, such a thing. It's very difficult. 
Fire crown! The crop, no, Dorian will never ever wear the crop top. I don't think anybody looks good in that. I'm like, man, it must suck to be a dude because uh, um, all the armor looks really good on girls and not the dudes. But maybe it does. The one that's no shirt? <laughs> what do you mean the, the painted? Because the painted one is the Avar, and I like that one a lot. I like that one a lot. The crop top, <laughs> I know. Oh, excellent. Leave the canyon before it grows dark. Hmm. Okay. What else is there? Oh! Whoa! More... Well, I guess that's kind of giving me a hint as to the locations. So, okay, you know what? Soul is done. He just looks extremely uncomfortable. And if I put talent in it, I don't think I even have one. I probably don't have one on me right now. No, I don't. But, like, Talon looks extremely uncomfortable in it as well. It's it's pretty funny. This is the oasis, right? Or it's close to the oasis? Hmm. I don't know. I did actually color one. Like, I dyed one the other day for one of my other characters. And I was just scrolling through, and it happened to pop up on, like, Blackwall and Dorian. And it actually looked pretty good on them. But the plain one that you get does not look good on anybody, I don't think. But, I mean, once you get one colored, it actually looked pretty nice. Maybe, I could have sworn we went through here, but maybe not. I feel like the legendary beast would be pretty easy to find. But do I have to complete like all the tomb things? Let's see. Whoa, no. Oh, what's that? No, no, no. No, no. That. What is that? Eh? Oh, was that was like a key or something over here. I tend to like Dorian and the flowing robes, but I'm actually really liking this one. Like, I don't know if it's just the, like, the, the blue velvet or whatever that he's in, but, and the white, like, I don't know, I just really like it. I don't know. I've, I've all of a sudden, like, changed what I like on Dorian. Oh, it's like underneath, I think. If you're looking for the last tomb in, this, in the Legendary Beast, it's stupidly hard for reals? Well, I didn't realize there were so many tombs. That last time I remember... Oh, hello. I don't know if this is if what I'm searching for is actually up above or down here. I'm gonna look around up, up, up top for a minute. It's probably down below, but I'm gonna just give it a give it a whirl. I found like the tomb of Fario last time, and I found one, and I was like, "Oh, cool! I found it!" and and that was it. And then uh, now I am just now realizing that there are actually, oh, it was up here. Okay, that there are more. Oh, oh, these are the notes. Right, right, right. They're all in the old tongue. All right, I remember. I remember reading this one. Hmm. You like Dorian naked? Heck yeah, I like Dorian naked. Dorian naked is great. <laughs> he prefers white because everybody in Tevinter wears black. Game maker, they do. I think the reason, one of the reasons Mass Effect sold so well is because they leaked it that there would be sex in it, and everyone was like, "What? That was what? I was like for reals, and I like bought it." 
Well, I actually bought Mass Effect 1 because I was like, oh, I don't know, I heard all this crazy stuff about Mass Effect 3. I wonder if it's really that big of a deal. And I eventually just got Mass Effect 1. And I also got it because I was like, oh, I heard there was a little controversy about there being a sex scene. How interesting. <laughs> Heck yeah. You're gonna die. You're gonna ah! Whoa, <laughs> cool. Don't move. Okay, good. All right. Score. He's David Guider's farewell gift. <laughs> Tori. <laughs> He's like, I leave you all now to move on to higher planes. In 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 passing, I will I will leave you this. <laughs> Dorian is great. I I'm trying to like consider more like the the Talon and Dorian like relationship because I just basically made Talon and was like, you're gonna romance Dorian, you know? And I think it took kind of a while because I remember there was one conversation specifically where like. Dorian's like, you know, I was worried about you and all the options you could choose as the Inquisitor were basically like, you know, like, what? Like, oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't, or like, not even I'm sorry, just like, well, it's not a big deal, Dorian, and he's like, it is a big deal! And you're just kind of like, oh. Like, maybe the Inquisitor, you know, Talon was just kind of didn't quite realize. I mean, he likes Dorian a lot, but it's, it's sort of slowly turning into more than that. I think it is now, like, I think they do. They love each other, but but it's still growing and learning, you know? It's not perfect or anything, especially because they're a Dalish elf and it's a Vinter mage. Like, I think maybe these two wouldn't be thinking about it so much. Or I think other, they would be aware that other people around them are like, hmm, what a strange relationship. Who's mad? Nobody, oh, there was a spider and it just ran away. Dragon Age Origins special scenes are very showy. They kind of are. And I think out of all the games, honestly, it's the most. Like, the sex scenes are the most, like, showing. Mass Effect was Mass Effect 1 was quite tastefully done, I thought. Mass Effect 2 was boring because there was nothing. And Mass Effect 3, I wouldn't know because my lover didn't make it. Mmm... I didn't see that video. The Game of the Year nomination video they put out. Maybe, uh, I don't know. I'm bad. I'm bad at remembering. What are... Oh, you're Inquisition dudes. Yo. We've had some luck. Thanks, man. It's the middle of nowhere. <laughs> um... Okay, so we found that. Wait, no, did we? We looked around in there. There wasn't anything in there, right? Like, I didn't miss anything? Watch it, it's really short. I will. I've, I've, seen, I, I've seen an article um, that was like, somebody was like commenting on the fact that the new Andromeda trailer or gameplay trailer didn't show you like any romance things and like no very little information's been put out and they're like why and i'm like i feel you like people are already starting to crush on the asari lady that they showed which is basically the only person you've seen right now and like so far like everybody's crushing on her and i'm like eh i don't know what i saw of her wasn't enough for me to be like oh my gosh like yes please Plus, you know, I'm generally more interested in dudes, so. <laughs> You'll wait, go watch it. I'm freaking for reals. <laughs> Alright, well, I'll look it up while I'm running. Do do do. Because there's very little chance I'm gonna run into anything. Here. Mm -hmm. Tyler. Thank you. What's it called?
Hmm. I was like, yeah, give me a iron bowl. I don't know, not even an iron bowl. I was like, yeah, he looks cool. <laughs> I don't know. And even when I when I saw Solus, I was just like, yeah, like there was. I don't know. I don't really remember like if anybody. Who did I, I was trying to remember now? Like if there was somebody that I saw that I was like, ooh, that person looks attractive. And then, but as soon as I heard Solus speak, I was like, all right, all right, I choose you, Pikachu. Let's go. Game of the Year nomination trailer. I see the link right. Oh, hey, freaking look at that! It's a freaking rift. Where was I going? Oh yeah, I was going towards this big empty area because I didn't know what it was. Whoa! What in the world? I feel like some of this is Tevinter, but some of this is Dwarven. Whoa! Oh, whoa! That's definitely to venter, I think. That that manner of storage box. I think. I think that's to venter. He's ri I was like, is that Freddy Prince Jr.? <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. It's the horns and he's tall. He is tall. I don't know, I tend to go for the elf. I honestly, I tend to go for the elven dudes, it seems, so. Anders was a big, like, change. Like, I, when I romanced Anders, I was, that was, that was actually very unexpected. For me and for probably a lot of people. Because <laughs> everybody was pretty much like, we know who you're going to romance. It's going to be Fenris. And I was like, looked up pictures and I was like, yeah, it's probably going to be Fenris. And then I didn't. Then I didn't. Then I romanced the apostate mage. Because that was a good idea. Uh, color. Oh my gosh. I know, Lemons. You were probably, you were probably one of those people. <laughs> I was like, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh. I know. I wanted to. I, I was all set to go, and then... Oh, shoot, man. Holy shoot. What are you guys throwing at me? Jeez. Um... But yeah, no, I don't know. Anders just charmed the pants right off me, basically. <laughs> I notice you used a nullification enchantment combined with an offensive attack. The nullification disrupts any ambient magic lying about. Things then burn hot. Don't you then waste an inordinate amount of magic <laughs> overcoming your own nullification? Ah, no. I warp the veil slightly to affect distance between the spells. Of course. Have you considered snapping the veil warp to enhance the relative energy? Like cracking a whip? Yes, tried it once. Made my teeth taste funny. What? Oh my gosh, that was the nicest. I took them out all the time before and they never said one night. Dorian tried to be nice to Solus and Solus never ever expressed any interest in anything Dorian did whatsoever except to say rude things basically all the time. Oh my gosh, they just had a civil discussion about magic. Wow. That's blowing my mind a little bit. Oh, that conversation? Oh, with Sarah. I bet you she would. She'd be like, what in the tarnation are you even talking about? And don't talk about it anymore. I'm getting so many dwarven statues. It's ridiculous. Oh, uh, what's this? Oh, I think I remember. This is what the ancient road leads up to. Gee, thanks. Fenris gets you every. I don't know what it was. I I was fully prepared to romance Fenris, and then I don't know. It was the broody, charming, free. I don't know. You could say that about Fenris and Anders. I don't even know. Give it, give it. Fine, don't give it to me. 
I don't know. I, I, I'm trying. I am literally. I, I try. I feel like a lot of times I'm like, it's just good and great. Just, just believe me. And I wish I had better words for things that I like, that I appreciate. What was it? What was it about Andrews? I don't know. Maybe it was the fact that he was a doomed romance. Shut up, you fellow archer. I mean, like. The bittersweet? I don't know. I think I can sense bittersweet romances right from the start. And then I just, I take them. And I don't know why, because it's stupid. <laughs> but. It's just, I kind of remember what Anders was like in, you know, Awakening. And he was different, but he was still... Like, I didn't really like the playboy aspect of him in Awakening. Like, I like it was fine, right? But I was like, I could never roam romance you but then that kind of like toned down a bit I don't know uh... you think my copy of the game got everyone else's conversations here The, and you didn't know Anders, but you knew what he ended up doing, so you hated him right off the bat, huh? It's understandable. I, and I did, I, I did have an idea of what he was gonna do, and I think maybe part of it was that I was trying to save him. Like I wasn't sure if I would be able to affect the outcome of that. You know what I mean? But at the same time, like he was just—I mean, he made me laugh. He did, and he was just so freaking. He was trying so hard, you know, to be a, a good man, and he was complicated, and he had, like, he had a lot of problems, but at the same time, he was still trying to do what he thought was best. And kind of like Solus, I guess. Freaking, I don't know. I'm just freaking drawn to murderers. Okay, Zevran is something else. Zevran is different. Zevran's different. <laughs> Zephyr was an elf, okay? <laughs> That's the thing, though, is I guess with Zephyr too, you were kind of, by, by, by loving him or by, by being a friend with him, you were basically redeeming him as well. Or at least allowing him the chance for that, you know? I'm basically doing like you do in Minecraft and trying to fill in the map. <laughs> You know what, to be honest, if I could have romanced anybody, I probably would have romanced Sten. I would I would have loved to have romanced Sten. And another perfectly honestly thing, I generally prefer dudes, but I would have romanced Morgan with a girl in a heartbeat. I was like, you can't romance Morgan as a girl? I'm very upset with this. I don't know. I just like it would be an interesting dynamic. It'd be really weird. It, what really weirds me out is that you can't romance Jack from Mass Effect as a girl because, like, she tells you straight up that she's bi, but then, like, she's like, no, I don't want to. Well, it's weird because, like, her friendship kind of is just weird. Like, at the end, it's basically like, I'm not into you that way, so don't talk to me. And that's the last thing you can ever say to Jack before everything goes down. It's weird. You liked romancing Alistair? See? I don't know. Alistair was 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 funny, and he he did make me laugh too. But I don't know. I think it's because I I kind of I kind of had an ink like I I knew from Inquisition that he he could be a king, and I was just like, hey, don't really don't really care about that. That's gonna just complicate things, you know. And now after playing Origins and seeing. You'd be lovers with the air shock. Woo -hoo! <laughs> I would I would have loved to have romanced Stan. I think that would have been awesome. It pro you probably I mean that probably really wouldn't be awesome because he probably doesn't like do anything. But it's probably one of those romances where it's like, oh, nothing's gonna happen. But But I'm gonna romance Morgan someday and I'm freaking excited. And it would have been really cool, like, at the end, like, if, if you're ro romancing Morgan with a girl, but you had to, like, she had to tell you, I have to go sleep with a man to keep you alive, basically, like, basically, like, that would have been really, like, heart-wrenching, you know? 
I love what gives me heart wrenching. Like I, I just love having my heartstrings broken. Okay, I'm gonna try and find this guy again. Like I, I think the the search boundary isn't in this gray area where I'm kind of at. That would be really cool if you could be lovers with the air shock, though. Like, you know, one-time lover or whatever. I think with my next origin character, I'm, I'm actually going to not romance anybody because uh, my heart belongs to Tamlin. And I'm pretty aware that things aren't going to go down really well with that because he got dragged off by Darkspawn. And we all know what happens to men when they get dragged off by Darkspawn. But since he didn't die in my face, then I know I'm going to probably have to encounter him later. Um, but I don't know, I like the idea of being able to just go with Sten, like, before he has to go back to, uh, the Saharan or wherever he's going back to. Just kind of traveling around with Sten for a bit. Ah, you could romance and get pregnant with Morgan as a woman. That would take some explaining. That would take some explaining, unless there was some sort of magical goo-woppy thing. Because this isn't Mass Effect, right? It's not like Asari or anything. Asari is one thing. They're, they're, they are explained, like, how, how they work biologically is explained very well. Woohoo! That worked out really well. Did I just hear a- I think I heard a roar. We're close to where the monster, the, the beast, is supposed to be. Hmm. It could just be ambient noise, though. Sometimes they just make animal noises in the background. Man, I wish there was like a really high point that was closer that I could use to like try to find this thing. Maybe, maybe if I go up here? Oh, maybe I'll go up here and go to the top of this hill. You're running after a certain dwarven scout? I see, and I would. Wow, Dorian and Solos are like ice skating up this dune. <laughs> That would be really fun, except for that, like, the romance doesn't go anywhere. What's this? Was I here already? I don't think so. I think this is what I thought looked like an Aravel before. She is so cute, and I'm really mad that they kind of stopped halfway with her romance. Like, like it just seems unfair to, like, give you the, the option, but not... First flight. Nice. What is this area? Oh, it's a Vinter Banner Crown. Oh, the Banner Crown. Okay, what is the ba there's like there's like there's there's only eleven banners I think, but each one of them gets a banner crown. Is it like the thing that goes on top? Of like like the Inquisition banner kind of has like a little crown looking thing. Maybe it does. I don't know. I never really thought about it. I hope in the next game they'll actually give you a, a dwarf romance option. I think people just, at this point, it's just like, just give it to us because, because. <laughs> you know, like, even if nobody wants it, they're like, freaking, at least, finally. Like, even if, like, nobody, even if somebody's like, I don't really want to romance this particular dwarf, they're like, well, freaking, at least they finally gave us a dwarf romance option. Instead of dangling Varric's manly chest in front of us and telling us we can't have it. <laughs> it's the thought that counts. No. No. It's not enough. I don't know. I think I heard somewhere that they got kind of worried that, you know, people would be weird about it. Like, fetishistic about it. About having a dwarf romance, I'm like, but you can be a dwarf. Why are you looking at me? And like romance that, somebody. 
I'm imagining what you would look like in a dress. <laughs> Keep wondering. If my uncle couldn't put me in one, neither shall you. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Hmm, now I'm curious. Now I'm very curious. All right, freaking, where is this monster? I'm like staring right at the center of where it should be. Is it in... It's not in the canyon, is it? Maybe? He just showed more chest hair. More and more chest hair. I know, Cassandra on a dress would be beautiful. I think she totally rocks her armor, though. Like, I don't know. I was very jealous when I was an elf warrior and I could not look like Cassandra. I was very jealous. Ooh, modding, that's a good idea. You know, I, I saw somewhere though that like it's very, it's difficult to mod the companions, I guess. Cause like I was looking into something for like, um, Halamshirol. And apparently you can't change everybody's outfits in Halamshirol. They, you can only change the way that their, their color of the uniform. Your Inquisitor can, ch can wear something else, but, and I do want to do that for, uh, my Inquisitor, my female Lavellan. But, am I kind of... Oh, I haven't been to this... Section? What was that? I thought there might have been a... Like a canyony type thing here? Oh, Golden Oasis! I found the Oasis! The actual Oasis! Oh, there's a wyvern down there. I thought it was a wyvern that we were supposed to be hunting. Shh. Be very quiet. Okay, so this is the actual oasis. There's a couple wyverns. My boy. Wow! There's a lot of wyverns. Wow. <laughs> Whoa! I, okay, wow, 250. Freaking heck. I don't know. <laughs> cool. I didn't realize there was a limit. I'll bet you, since you're the only one that's different colored, that you're the biggest threat. Nope, not okay. Okay. Ooh, I think we don't have the other two's attention. Oh man, we are gonna be lucky, lucky, lucky. I know, right? I'm hunting rabbits. Rabbits. Be very, very quiet. Or the giant man-eating rabbits will find you. Yay! Yay! I did it! Oh, slay the beast! Slay the beast. All right, time to slay these other beasts. Woo! Oh, quickly! Come on! Come on! There, that did. Okay, that did actually work a little bit. Explode! Okay. Wyvern scales. Wow, wow. And they just, that guy just spawned in. It's like Wyvern Central. Like, you can just farm Wyverns here. You dead yet? You dead yet? No, I was thinking, though, that, like, 
I don't know. I, I keep saying I keep saying something like this, but I feel like I should look more into Venator. Holy crap! There's so many. I need to look more into the Venatori. Um, specifically because I need to look more into the Venatori, but I also feel like if I was being influenced by my romance interests, I would probably look more into Venatori than I maybe would Elven Ruins, even though I'm an elf. So I do want to look at the Elven Ruins too. I want to make sure I get to Dirthamon's Temple with Talon. <gasps> White Wyvern hide. Oh my gosh, what is that? Okay, where are we? Read. Oh, more notes. Turn from a statue to find a human woman staring at me. Oh, she was the chant lady. The, that, we, we encountered her. We encountered that lady. Well, cool. This looks like a place, though, where... Where wyverns just spawn forever. How do you get out? <laughs> oh, well, that way? All right. Good to know. I'm glad I've actually I actually found the actual oasis this time. Oh, look at that! I mean, freaking, it's very obvious once you're here what it is. I mean, it doesn't have any water, but at least visible. But yeah, the shape definitely. Dang it! I messed that one up. These other wyverns, they like look over and then they're like, nah, I don't care. Whatever. Whoa! No! Day! I knew it! I knew I was gonna do that! <sighs> yeah. Time for you to be dead. The game's like, we're only gonna give you three wyvern hide because that was cheating. I'm getting, I'm getting the, the focus a lot more, though. The belt is very handy. You have the Master Fade belt, or whatever. Well, what's left in the... Hissy Waste? Oh, yeah, the tomb. <laughs> and the notes. Oh, uh, Find the statue. Okay, go to the statue. And the graveyard? I don't know if I've found every place here. Nope, as it looks like I haven't found. Oh, I guess I could. Um, what? Oh yeah. Regions. Regions in the waste. Yep, not quite found all of them. Interesting. All right. All right, I have to take a freaking. I drink so much water. I'm gonna. I need a pee break again. So, <laughs> give me, give me, give me one minute. I will be right back. Woo! I'm back. Yay! Beer break. I also had a snack break. I'm eating some more of my pizza bites. Pizza bites. Technically Parmesan bites, I guess, but whatever. They're breadstick bites. They're fantastic. <laughs> I'm glad, Romlin. Freaking, you have no idea how happy that makes me. That you, like, enjoy having this on in the background. I am totally that type of person. I just like to have things on in the background from people that, I don't know, that I like. <laughs> you got Trespasser, Ashley! Sweet! Oh, thank you, Frog Raider, for spreading joy and happiness in the world. You are, you're amazing. <laughs> Guess what? I have been playing Mass Effect 3 a little bit. I played some last night. And, and I found my hamster. <laughs> And I was like, Frog, you're back! I didn't realize, like, at first I was like, where's my hamster at? And then I was just wandering the ship, and then I saw this thing that I thought was a bug, and I was, like, trying to step on it, and then I picked it up, and I was like, it's Frog! 
Yay!